So it's uh, nine, half eight in the morning, sorry, on Sunday. I've had to get up early because BBC Breakfast wanted to talk to me about how dry it was. Um, it's still dry. We might get two mil of rain on, um, on Wednesday, but it won't be enough at all, really. Oh, there's the gas gun on the bit, on the, scaring the pigeons off the, off the uh, sunflowers. It never stops. Um, so I think we're on day 68 now. Uh, maybe it should be G today for the gas gun or grass, because that's what we're going to be tending in a minute. I don't know, but um, I'll put a clip on, on my Facebook maybe of, um, of what we were talking about on breakfast this morning because it, it was quite important, it's about saving water as well, so the guy from Scottish Water was on there telling people what to do about the paddling pools and the lawns and stuff, so I'll, I'll add, either add that on the end of this one or I'll, I'll put it in a separate video. So we're now in uh, Hayfield, or one of them, rowing up hay, got the tether on the back, sorry the, the rake on the back which is exactly what it is. It's just a rake. So it rakes it from one side to the other and puts it in rows. It works from the left, sorry, the right to the left, which makes it really confusing when you're trying to set it up on the GPS because obviously you, you, the machine's about four meters wide, but sometimes it needs to be four meters over and sometimes you need to be eight meters over. So it started scrambling my brain, trying to get it to work properly with different different width settings. So I gave up and I've just set the, the width to 25 centimetres. So when I get to the end of the field, I'll just turn where I need to be and press OK and it'll generally drive me within 25 centimetres and it'll keep the rows a similar size across the field. We don't want it in too big a row because it, it won't dry out all the way. And we don't really, normally we'd, we'd, we'd roll it over and tend it again, but because it's so hot, the sun is making it really brittle and it's smashing it up and we'll lose it and it'll turn to dust. So we've literally mowed it scattered it out flat as you can see and then now we're just going to row it up into rows and probably bale it tomorrow or maybe a little bit later on today if if we do you'll obviously see that at the end of this video but gps seems to be working fine now i've got the hang of it so uh, we'll just keep going in the field now there's lots of bales which is good uh, I'm just folding the tether up now to go down the road but I just thought I'd show you how it works because it's really simple these rods go into the middle there and inside is like what they call a carousel so a little roller goes round and round and round but when it gets to a certain point it goes up over a bump and as it goes over a bump it kicks the tines up if you look there as they're coming round flick up see and that's what lets go of the grass when it's at the, at the right hand side sorry the left hand side and that's uh, how it forms the row so it's as it goes round 360 degrees about 320 degrees the tines are pointing down but at the far side there you go whoop, and then it just lets the grass out so it's dead simple so I'll fold it up so it fits down the road otherwise it's about four meters wide and uh, it might scratch some cars
just about on the last feel of the day now. Um, so that's about it really. I'll, uh, I'll put the link on this morning at the BBC Breakfast, so people have probably just seen it anyway because I think it's on Facebook, YouTube, and whatever. But like I say, if you've enjoyed the videos and you like them, just share them so other people might enjoy them and like them rather than just talk to people that I already know that could just ring me up or come and watch me anyway or find out about farming whenever they want. So, bye for now.